Tomorrow is the 75th anniversary of the use of the most powerful weapon ever employed in human history. In 1945, the United States dropped the second of two atomic bombs on Japan in an effort to hasten the end of World War II. The target was the port city of Nagasaki. The first bomb was dropped on Hiroshima on August 6th. The two bombings killed more than 200,000 people, most of them civilians. On Thursday in Hiroshima, a scaled back memorial ceremony was held for survivors and their families. Ramey Innocencio spoke with one survivor whose goal is to rid the world of nuclear weapons. The mushroom cloud rose menacingly over Hiroshima 75 years ago, an event seared into world history and more so in the mind of Toshiko Tanaka. She was right under that cloud, just six years old, and miraculously survived. I remember the horror of that day, blinding light like thousands of strobe lights, my body thrown to the ground. At 81, she says she's been blessed to live, her mission now banning all nuclear weapons. 75 years after surviving the bombing, I'm all the more determined to help rid the world of nuclear arms. What became Hiroshima's ground zero was once its humming commercial district of Nakajima with city hall, restaurants and cafes. Tanaka, pictured here with her father, lived close by. But on August 6, 1945, the Enola Gay Super Fortress bomber dropped its payload on the city, a five-ton nuclear bomb nicknamed Little Boy. The atom bomb exploded just a third of a mile over this river, killing an estimated 80,000 people instantly and leveling about 90 percent of the city. But that building, now known as the Atomic Bomb Dome, was one of the few things left standing. A testament to the tragedy of war, it now stands aligned with tributes to peace, the Peace Flame and Peace Memorial Museum, newly renovated in time for the 75th anniversary. Dimmed rooms spotlight the day of the bombing. Irradiated artifacts tell the stories of those who died in an instant. Torn clothes, a tricycle, a lunch never eaten. Photographs of burn victims hang on the walls next to artwork by survivors of hot, melting skin and black, radioactive rain. Through her own artwork, Tanaka still processes that fateful day 75 years ago. The United States bombed your city. Do you have any criticism for America? We were full of rage at first, but once we saw the Americans, it was clear they were just like us. Years later, she even met Clifton Truman Daniel, grandson of President Harry Truman, who ordered the bombing. There will be a time in the future when there are no more surviving Hiroshima victims. What do you want the world to remember? Eliminating nuclear weapons is the path to peace, ensuring this tragedy is never repeated. And Tanaka manages one last line in English. Please make many friends from other countries. When you do so, you are moving the world towards peace. A remarkable woman who survived a nuclear bombing, yet still has peace in her heart. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Rami Innocencio, Hiroshima, Japan. Sounds pretty good. Try to meet many different people from many different countries. Yeah, and there was a long period of time she didn't want to talk about it, she said, because it was so painful, but realized how important it was to speak out. And important to remember, as Rami points out, there will be a time not too far away when no survivors are left. So exactly. really interesting to hear from her.